festivals. Also known as Matsuri in Japanese, these celebrations are a big part of life in Japan. Historical, cultural significant, and sometimes <laughs> unusual. Originally, many festivals have linked to religious traditions in Japan and were historically done to thank the gods or pray for good harvest, and even as a way for guys to meet girls. Now, a lot of festivals are more like community events, meant to bring people together, help tourism, and just the time to have fun. Some festivals are more extreme than others, however, like the Nebuta Matsuri in Aomori, where participants jump for two hours a day for seven consecutive days, and massive glowing floats are paraded around the town at night. Or Danji Festival in Osaka, where people crash cars into each other, and every year, people can actually get hurt or even die. But ever since the situation, a lot of festivals here in Japan have been cancelled or made smaller. And since you guys can't visit Japan just yet, I thought I'd share a little bit of festival life with you. Today, I'd like to show you this one festival that is really, really big, but safe. And, uh, and it's fun as well. It's called Awa Odori. It's normally happening in late August, but obviously due to the situation, it has not been happening for the last two years. But there is a show happening in coins of Awa Odori, and I'd like to see what's going on out there. Let's check it out. Usually, this Awa Odori festival brings in millions of people to Tokyo, but since that cannot happen this year, the dance group behind the festival, the Suzakuren, is performing much smaller events inside, as well as posting their performances online. You may remember in my last video, I talked about the Japanese festival, Day of the Dead, called Obon. Our Odo is actually one of the dancers performing during this festival. This dance is also called the Dance of Fools. Because some people believe it was started by rowdy drunk peasants dancing after they drank a lot of sake. And some of the dance moves are even meant to mimic that. Maybe I should be invited the other peasant to join it too. Anyway, let's give it a watch. Let me just ask them if I can just learn a little bit more about the distance. Just, I want to try it, okay? See what's there. At this point, I actually thought this would be fun. A little bit of dancing. What could go wrong? It's a dance of fools. If I could do it, I regret this decision. Yes! <laughs> and just like that, the dance group gave me a demonstration of what it was I'd be doing today. Move legs back and forth, do a bit of waving, easy might, easy peasy. And then I tried it. All I've done is bend my knees and I'm already naked. I realize looking at this now, it looks really simple. It's really not. There are three main parts of the Awa Odori dance. First thing is you have to keep your hips low and you can't bend your back. You have to stay upright. Second, you have to drop your hips with music. Drop your back until your leg hits the floor. 
Third, you have to point your feet out and move the arms and legs on the same side at the same time. Right arm, right leg. Left arm, left leg. All of this hurts like hell. I just want to point out that men who do awodori get to wear these comfortable white socks. But the women have to wear these wooden getta shoes and only stand on their front toes while dancing. Maybe I should donate some Air Jordans or something. This is just like Karate Kid, except there is no Mr. Miyagi, but it still hurts. I'm laughing on the outside. On the inside, I only feel pain. I done it. I'm an Awa Odori master. No more reads to continue this video and that's it. Job done, guys. Yeah, they weren't going to let me go home without performing it too. I've got my own special Matsuri outfit. 100% traditional. And uh, apparently, Awa Odori has got about a history of more than 400 years and today, I'm going to ruin it. Oh, so we're just gonna do something completely different from what we practice. Yeah, yeah, that's cool too. I do not remember practicing this bit. Show off. I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, it's traditional for the middle guy to be doing something completely different. Prove me wrong. Try and prove me wrong. Now that tail, it was the hardest thing I did in my life. <laughs> See ya. This group has been dancing our odori in Koenji for over 30 years. And last year was the first time that event couldn't take place. It's not just a bunch of people couldn't dance for an evening. The festival is about more than that. Every dancer spends years and years practicing not because they want to dance correctly, but to bring people together. The most important thing about Japanese festival isn't the show itself, but the community. <笑><笑> 私は So that's it for the video. I hope you felt the energy and the power of Awa Odori. That was an amazing show. Unfortunately, the, uh, the real festival, uh, we don't know when it's going to happen next, uh, but I'm pretty sure it will happen like, when the situation is over. But until then, uh, especially the, for, the, for the ones that if you live in Japan, um, make sure to visit this place. That show, Awa Odori Plus, is happening every month. So check out the link below and I hope you 
see this and you will be amazed by the dance and the people and energy and everything. See you in the next video. Super dry. Super dry. <laughs>